But first, the Midtown Street just collapses, leaving a hole 20 feet deep in the middle of the road. This was the scene today along Gillum Road near Armour Boulevard. I'd be scared to get anywhere near it. That's where we find 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez, though, with all the details. Andres. Yeah, Chris said that massive sinkhole is right over there. As Kevin said, it is at least 20 feet deep besides broken pipes. Experts we spoke with today say the increased rainfall and gravity played a role here. Late this morning, heavy machinery moved into Midtown Kansas City because as many were fast asleep, the city says ruptured water and sewer lines caused a portion of Gillum Road near Armour Boulevard to cave in. Not expecting a hole of that magnitude. It's a huge hole. This is the latest sinkhole in recent days. Friday morning, the roadway gave way on 67th Street in Miriam. Then that evening, KC water crews were called to this one on Main Street near the plaza. Experts say the increased rainfall is a likely culprit. And the water has a lot of force and, and it'll tear a lot of stuff up. Rain like we're having now, it's basically acting like a lubricant and it just kind of speeds everything up. And then. Water is extremely heavy. Try to carry a five gallon bucket, you'll know that. Scott Hageman, a geology professor at Park University, says there are two types of sinkholes. The natural ones you'd see in southern Missouri. Water is literally like an acid chewing out the limestone and you're literally carving out this huge opening. And those in urban areas are usually man-made. So like water pipes, sewage lines that have leaked and carved out a hole and then the soil above has collapsed onto that. But there are some indicators before the ground opens up. You know, are your trees starting to slope? Are your fence posts starting to dip a certain direction? Any type of movement like that, uh, it could be slow natural creep or it could be the formation of a sinkhole right near there. Now, once crews with Kissick Construction help KC Water restore service to two nearby apartment buildings, they'll install the 60-inch lines. They do carry wastewater as well as stormwater through the system. All this work is expected to happen within the next day or two. Reporting live in Midtown Kansas City tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.